The cropping tool is probably one of the oldest and most regularly used tools in the Photoshop Elements Editor workspace. And in this session what we're going to do is look at some of the additional features that have been added into this tool's functionality for Photoshop Elements 10. So if we go over and just select the tool, I've just got a blank document sitting here just to show you this new set of features that we have up on the options bar. We have the ability to add in an overlay. And as well as using the cropping tool to just reshape or resize or zero in on the most important parts of our photo, we can also use the tool to visually balance our images by putting the focal points of our photos in particular parts of the actual frame. So if we go and select Rule of Thirds from the new overlay drop down in the options bar, now when I draw out a crop, you'll see that I have some new lines that appear inside the actual crop itself. When I'm working with Rule of Thirds, these are spaced to break up the frame that I've drawn with the crop tool into three equal parts, both vertically and horizontally. This enables you to do things like place horizon lines along one of these horizontal lines, or maybe a prominent tree along one of these vertical lines, giving a real sense of balance to your image. But we also have other overlay options as well. We have the grid. If I go and select that and draw it out, you'll see that it's a grid with regular spacing. And this is great if we're actually trying to align different parts of the image to the area that we're cropping. It's also really handy if we are actually trying to do things like straighten horizons because we can align the horizon along one of these grid lines as we're rotating the crop in order to get that straight. The last option we have is golden ratio. And like the rule of thirds, it's designed to help us visually balance out our image. It's based on some layout and design principles that says this particular point here in this rectangular frame is a natural point of focus within the frame. We can change the position of the point by flipping the overlay. And you can see we're flipping it here. If we want to change the crop to a vertical rectangle, we can just swap the height and the width, resize the crop, and we can use the flip button to flip the focus point there as well. So let's look at how we can use these new overlays when we're actually working with a real image. Here we've got a great image and we'll go and grab the grid overlay to start with and we'll make sure that our aspect ratio goes back to no restriction so we can just draw a rectangle around our main part of the photo. You can see with the grid lines displayed that we can see that the horizon line is not actually level. So if we move the cursor outside the crop, we can click and drag until the horizon line is parallel to one of the grid lines. Then we can adjust the size of the crop in order to get in as much of the background image as we can. Once we've got that, get it to exactly the size we want, just click the green commit button to actually apply that crop. You'll see down in the bottom left hand corner, we've got a portion of the image where the cropping marquee went outside of the actual photo. We can now go in and grab the clone stamp tool, just hold down the alt button to select some of the sand and paint in those parts of the image that we've missed. And you can see that we now have a straight horizon line and a well cropped image. Let's go back to the cropping tool and look at one of the other options. We'll go down to rule of thirds. And I'm just going to drag out my crop around the subjects in the foreground and let go. You can see that where these two lines cross is a natural focus point for our main subject. So making sure that the foreground subjects are sitting on one of these focus points will help provide a sense of structure to our image. So let's just click the green commit button to apply that you can see how there's a natural balance to the photograph now. I'm just going to hold down Control or Command button and hit the Z key just to get this back to where we were before the last step. Now I'll go down and select Golden Ratio and let's look at how that works. I'll click and drag out the rectangle. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And we'll flip around the focus point drag it out, get the focus point to sit particularly just on 
our subject sitting in the foreground there and then click the green commit button and you can see again we've got another well balanced image because we put the focus point on our subjects it's vertical in this particular example but if we again hold down control or command and hit the Z or Z button to go back to our original we can flip these ratios around create another crop this time a horizontal crop drag it down so that we get the subject sitting in the foreground and them being well placed within the frame and have the focus point sit directly over them once we're happy with that just click the green commit button and again we've got a well balanced frame using the golden ratio crop overlay so next time you're cropping, think about using the overlays as a way of aiding how you're composing your images. Don't just think of cropping as a way of reshaping your photos. Also think of cropping as a way of providing extra visual balance to your pictures.